back with you now for the interview of the day. An extraordinary stroke of luck for a group of deserving Kentucky teachers. Winning the state's million-dollar Powerball jackpot. This is happening as the Kentucky House passes budget bills, which include higher spending for education, but leaves out guaranteed pay raises for its teachers. The Jones 30, as they're called, is made up of 30 current and former staffers at R.A. Jones Middle School in Florence, Kentucky. And this group has been pooling their money together, playing the lotto for the last eight years. So joining us now to talk about their winnings, we have five members, five or six members of the Jones 30, including the middle school's seventh and eighth grade vice principal, Sharon Reynolds, Dr. Jennifer Hickey. We're also joined by Heidi, Megan, Regina, Michael. Thank you all for joining this morning. Guys, congratulations. I mean, eight years of playing and finally a stroke of good fortune. What does this feel like, this moment? <laughs> It's, it's unbelievable. I would say it's absolutely amazing. It's still shocking for us. Well, I can't yeah. imagine, you know, Sharon, let me go to you. A lot of people would give up after a year or two of playing. You know, you pull your money together. You don't win, you know, month after month or however frequent it is. What kept your group motivated to keep on playing the lottery all these years? You know, I think there was two things. One, it was only $35 a year. So that's that's affordable on the realm of things. And two, um, we've taught together in some, at some point in our careers and just have really, to this day, still be, just stayed a family. And so it was like, why not? Yeah, $35 a year. Talk about a return on investment. Uh, for, so, so splitting it all up, what does everybody get from this? 24000 after wow. taxes. Wow, huge congrats. And Jennifer, all of us here at home are, are taking notes. We want to know what it takes to, to be a, a lotto winner ourselves. What was your winning strategy? <laughs> Consistency. <laughs> I think that was key. I mean, we we um, all put forth our money every time that we had to. And I think we had one back person that was our backbone that kind of hounded us if we didn't put our money in. Yeah. And uh, it was like I said, just consistency behind it. Same numbers. Same numbers. Yeah. I was I was going to say, do you think that was also the key to, to success? And how were those no numbers chosen for you? Uh, I got to draw them. Uh, we, we put them in a hat and we just pulled out the numbers and we had all the numbers and the, we just stuck with those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and also, correct me if I'm wrong, I hear that the math teacher who leads the group tucked that lotto ticket once, you know, they realized this was the winning ticket. Tucked it away in a math book to keep it safe. Yes, because <laughs> yes. nobody looks in a math book. And so <laughs> the, birthday yeah, the, student, the students aren't looking in the math book. I think it was what page two hundred. <laughs> yeah, that, that book was at her house. So uh, it wasn't like it was on a shelf here at school. It was at her house. Oh my gosh, that is too good. Um, and and Sharon, your win is receiving a lot of positive support, a, a lot of response nationwide. Obviously, we're talking about it this morning. People are genuinely happy to see educators win the lottery. What does this victory mean, and how far does it go, especially? at a time when teachers everywhere are fighting for better pay. Well, you know, we love that a, this, a group of teachers won. We would have been happy if any group of teachers won because it does bring exposure to, to teachers and, and educators because, you know, they work hard, you know, for their for their for what they do. And, you know, we just want people to say, hey, we want them to see us, see our students, and uh, just know that uh, educators deserve this. And we would love to give all educators $24,000, which yeah. we all could have won. Yeah, well, uh, we know that you all deserve it. You are our country's heroes. There are no, there's no doubt about it. What's it meant for your school, and what's the response that, that you've been receiving from uh, you know, fellow teachers who probably wish they had joined in on this tradition, and, and also your students? Just putting Jones out there is really cool. You know, we all met here at some point, um, you know, as far as past and present teachers, you know, us playing the lottery. and. For, for Jones to get the exposure is just really cool. It's it's a great school and a great great place for us all to, to become friends and, and lifelong friends. And it's Obviously. a win for our students, don't you yes. think? I mean, it, yeah. it is, because they, they get they see their school on national news and they're like, wow, people yeah. see us. People know, people know who we are now and it's amazing. Yeah, and they're proud to be part of that family. Okay, quick lightning round, everybody. What are you spending the, the, the winnings on? I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna help my daughters a little bit, but I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm going to take my family on a vacation. Nice. Uh, we are 20 weeks pregnant after uh, three rounds of IVF, so I have plenty to spend on. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations to you. You and I both are expecting. So a huge congrats. Awesome. A huge congrats to you. Uh, okay, anybody else? We have like 10 seconds left. 
Um, I'm doing student loans, paying off my yeah. student loans, and then working towards my master's. I'm renovating my house. I'm getting new kitchen countertops. Paying down loans. Paying <laughs> down loans. Hi. Well, hey, congratulations from all of us here at News Nation. We're Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.